Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back to SST classes. Hope you all are fit and fine and enjoying your studies with SST classes. So, guys, <coughs> in the last video, we were discussing about Ilbury dynasty. Means we can say that the description related with Delhi Sultanate. So, guys, the beginning of the Delhi Sultanate was with the Avag dynasty. Means by Qutubuddin Avag from 1206 common era. After that, till Balban we have discussed. Means or we can say that we have already discussed about the different elements, events related with the life of Qutubuddin Avag, Dilthud means Rajya and Balban means. From 1206 common era to 1290 common era. Now after that, the next major dynasty related with Delhi Sultanate, which was established by demolishing the slave dynasty, is Khalji dynasty or the Khilji dynasty. Because this dynasty was established by Jalaluddin Khalji in 1290 common era. The last ruler of the slave dynasty was Qumas, which was killed by, assassinated by Jalaluddin Khalji. And in this way, Jalaluddin Khalji established a new dynasty, which is known as the Khalji dynasty. So the Khalji dynasty was founded in 1290 common era. Okay. So guys, the founder of this dynasty was Jalaluddin who founded this dynasty in 1290 common era okay now the major things related with the life of Jalal and Khalji are first of all he was the founder of the Khalji dynasty after that in the next part he invaded Ranatham in 1290 common era. But this invasion was unsuccessful. Along with that, he also met an invasion in 1294 common era in on Malwa, means in South India towards the South India it was the first expedition which we can say that Jalaluddin Khalji was the first ruler of Delhi Sultanate who tried to invade South India tried to conquer South India okay so the first invasion of Malwa was in 1294 common era under the leadership of Alauddin Khalji Who was the nephew and son in law of Jalaluddin Khalji? Is that clear? Guys, Jalaluddin Khalji was a liberal absolutist ruler, means he believed that the mere existence of the administration was in the public, means without public, there was no administration. It was the thinking of Jalaluddin Khalji. So, it's, we can say that he was a liberal. Abs uh, absolutist ruler, okay. He believed in who believed in liberty. Now, after the assassination of Jalaluddin Khilji, the next ruler of this dynasty was Alauddin Khilji, the most important ruler not only of this Khilji dynasty but also this Delhi Sultan, okay, who had the largest extension of the boundaries of Delhi Sultan. Alauddin Khalji was famous for the many reforms and the victories he made. Okay. So the next ruler is Alauddin Khalji, who became the ruler in 1296 by assassinating 
Jalaluddin Khilji, who was the son, sorry, nephew and son-in-law, who was the nephew and son-in-law of son-in-law of Jalaluddin Khilji. Now, the major themes related with the life of Alauddin Khilji. Alauddin Khilji was a very ambitious ruler means he had an ambition to be the ruler of this world means like Alexander he would like to win the whole world and that's why he adopted the title of second Alexander he addressed himself on his coins with the title of second Alexander Okay, Sikandar Sani. He adopted the title of Second Alexander. We can see that he inscribed in his coin with the name of Second Alexander. Is that clear? After that, the most important information about Alauddin Khilji we obtain from the works of the famous scholar who was present in. Uh, nearby all the battles fought by Alauddin Khilji, which was Amir Khusro. Amir Khusro. And he wrote a book named Khuzainu Khutun. The name of the book is Khuzainu In this book, we get information about Alauddin Khilji. Means uh, the military expeditions of Alauddin Khilji are explained by Amir Khusro in his book Khuzain al Futur. There are five books written by Amir Khusro, out of which the most important one is Khuzain al Futur. Is that clear? In his book, Amir Khusro referred Alauddin Khilji with the title of Sultan of the world or Emperor of the world okay Sultan of the world or Emperor of the world along with that he also mentioned his name with the title of Public Horseman Public Horseman Is that clear? So in this way there are two major titles related with Alauddin Khilji mentioned in the book of Amir Kushu which are Sultan of the World and Public Herdsman. Now the most important things about Alauddin Khilji were his military expeditions and along with that his reforms. So first of all here we are going to discuss about the major victories of Alauddin Khilji. The major victories of Alauddin Khilji. Okay, Alauddin Khilji ruled for twenty years. Means we can say that till thirteen hundred and sixteen common era. The first most important victory of Alauddin Khilji was related with Gujarat. He invaded Gujarat in 1299 Common Era. After becoming ruler, it was his first military campaign. Okay? And he invaded the ruler of Gujarat, which was Bhagel Rajput ruler Karan Devi. The ruler of Gujarat was Bhagel Rajput ruler Karandi. Karandi was defeated by the armies of Alauddin Khilji, which were led by two military commanders, Uluk Khan and Nusrat Khan. Uluk Khan and Nusrat Khan. Okay? They both were the military commander of the army, which was sent to 
occupy the region of Gujarat. And in this war, Rajput ruler Karande was defeated by the armies of Alauddin Khilji. And after that, Alauddin Khilji got a lot of booty. Means we can say that a great amount of loot he got from the region of Gujarat, or we can say that from the capital of Gujarat, Anhilwad. Okay, so Anhilwad was the capital of Rajput ruler Karande, which was plundered by the Muslim army, by the army of Alauddin Khilji under the leadership of Nusrat Khan and Ulag Khan. Along with that, this army also plundered, also looted the Somnath Temple. So guys, Somnath Temple was invaded seven times. Seven times of the Somnath Temple was looted. First of all, by Mahmud Ghaznavi. After that, Muhammad Ghori and then Alauddin Khilji and the last one was Aurangji. Total seven times it was looted by the different Muslim rulers, Muslim invaders. Is that clear? And four times it was reconstructed. In 1026 by the Rajput ruler, the ruler of Gujarat, Bhimpal first. After that, Kumarpa and then in 1765 Kamanara by Ahilyabai. Okay, Maratha Ahilyabai. And in the last in 1950 by Sardar Bhai Patil. So the temple was invaded by the army of Alauddin Khilji also. Okay. After that, the next victory, and one more thing. At the time of this expedition towards Gujarat, we can say that at the time of Gujarat campaign, Alauddin Khilji got Malik Thakur, who was the key of success of Alauddin Khilji in the South India means it was Alauddin Khilji who served him as a military commander and made his entry possible in the different states of South India. Okay. After that, the next major victory related with Alauddin Khilji is the victory of Ranthambhu. Okay. He invaded Ranthambhu in 1301 means Ranthambhu was born by it was conquered by Alauddin Khilji in 1301 Kamana. Okay. After that, the next victory is related with Chitto. Which was conquered by Alauddin Khilji in 1303 Common Era. After that, the next victory is related with Sivana. Sivana Fort was conquered by Alauddin Khilji in 1308 Common Era. And the last most important victory in Rajasthan is related with the ruler of Jalor, also referred as Jawalipur in um, the Arabian text. Okay? So, the victory of Jalor was in 1311 Common Era. If we talk about the rulers related with these dynasties, uh, these uh, states, then in Ranthambhur, the ruler was Hamir Dev Chauhan, Chittor, Ranaratan Singh, uh, Sivana, Satal Dev, okay, who was the cousin of the ruler of Jalor, which was Kanan Dev. Okay. So, in this way, four massive victories were there related with Rajasthan. Now, along with that, Alauddin Khilji also conquered the region of Malwa. He invented the region of Malwa. Okay. After that, under the leadership of Malik Kapoor, he made many invasions in South India also. So, in South India, there were four major states which were conquered by Alauddin Khilji. Okay? The first one is Devgiri. After that, Varangal. Then, Devgiri, Varangal. Then, the next one is Madura. 
and the last one is dar samudra dar samudra we talk about the method of victories of allowed in kitchen then the victories of south india are very important now the dynasties who were ruling on uh, these regions so in devgiri yadav dynasty okay in barangal kartia in madura pandey and in dar samudra hoysal okay first of all malik kafir invented the region of delhi in 1306 and 7 common era the ruler of delhi was ram chandra dev okay which was defeated by malik kafir ram chandra dev accepted the sovereignty of alauddin khilji and in, along with that he also accepted to give tax collected from alijpur to alauddin khilji alauddin khilji adorned ram chandra dev with the title of rai ram okay now after that the next victory is related with varangal at present it is known as telangana okay varangal or telangana Malik Kafir invaded Telangana in 1308 common era, and the ruler of Telangana was Varangal was Pratap Rudra Dev. It was Pratap Rudra Dev. Pratap Rudra Dev second. After that, he invaded the region of Dar Samudra means the Hoysal region. Okay, and He invaded that in 1310 common era. And guys, the most important thing that you should keep in your mind related with Varangal and that is the ruler of Varangal Pratap Rudra Dev handed over the diamond, Kohinoor diamond, to Malik Kafur. Means it was in Varangal, and after the defeat of Pratap Rudra Dev, he handed over that diamond, the Kohinoor diamond, to the Muslim army, or we can say that to Malik Kafur. Okay. After that, the next point, Dar Samudra Hoysal region, thirteen hundred and ten common era, and the last one is the Madura. Okay. And here uh, the dynasty which was ruling was Pandey, and the ruler was Veer Pandey, defeated in thirteen hundred and eleven common era. The ruler was Veer Pandey. Okay, and we talk about the ruler related with the other some of the Hoysal region, and it was Veer Balal or Balal Dev Thar. Okay, so in this way, there were four major victories of Alauddin Khilji in South India: Devgiri, Yadav Dynasty, Ramchandra Dev, thirteen hundred and six and seven. After that, Varangal, Kartya Dynasty. In 1310, uh, 1308, common era, sorry, Pratap Rudra Dev. After that, Madurai Pandey, 1311, Veer Pandey, and the last one is the, the region of Dar Samudra Hoysal Dynasty, 1310, common era, and the ruler of this dynasty was Veer Balal Thar. Out of all these four victories, in the matter of loot, or we can say that the total property annexed by loot. the most important victory was the victory of madurai the pandey okay after that the next point is related with the major reforms made by alauddin khilji okay so alauddin khilji made many administrative reforms so here we are going to discuss about that. first of all when alauddin khilji began to rule then he faced many reforms revolts from the new muslims okay the muslims uh, which were mongol earlier but after married with the daughter of 
Jalaluddin Khilji under the leadership of Mongol commander Ulugh Khan they all become Muslims when they adopted Islam. So first of all the new Muslims revolted against Jalaluddin Khilji in 1299 Bamarana. After that uh, Atta Khan revolted against uh, against Jalaluddin Khilji. Uh, Mangu Khan the Subedar of Awadh also revolted against Jalaluddin Khilji. So uh, in this way different kind of military commanders and governors of the uh, empire of Alauddin Khilji revolted against him. So to cross that revolt he issued four orders in the form of administrative reforms. Okay? Or we can say that with an ordinance he provided four major rules to eliminate the revolts of the armies. Okay? Or we can say that the revolts of the laws. First of all, the first Good was related with annexing, annexing the property of Amis or you can say that the Alps. So he ordered to annex the property of Amis means we can say that the property which was there under the control of Amits now it's going to be the part of the state okay after that the next rule was related with banning alcohol in Delhi okay banning alcohol in Delhi the third point is <coughs> ban on mutual get together of the lords or the amis and the last one is related with restructuring restructuring the intelligence department or the intelligence system intelligence system so in this way we can say that to control the rewards of the lords allow them Khilji at four uh, we can say that the ordinance of four rules in uh, to control the rewards of the lords in Delhi first of all Annexing the property of Amins, banning alcohol in Delhi. After that, ban on mutual get together of the Amins or the landlords, and along with that, they also ban on the marriages without the permission of the emperor. Means he order to take the permission of the emperor before marrying, uh, before uh, making any kind of marriage relation for the Amins and landlords. Okay, and along with that, he also restructured the intelligence system, or we can say that the spying department to get a uh, complete information about the different activities of landlords. Okay, after that, the next thing is related with the measure reforms made by Alauddin Khilji in market. Alauddin Khilji was the first emperor, or we can say that the first ruler related with Delhi Sultanate who made reforms in. The market sector means for market he made many reforms which are really very famous and he was the first who did anything like that okay so here we are going to discuss about the market reforms of Alauddin Khilji so Alauddin Khilji fixed the prices of all the products in Delhi means there was a fixed price decided by the emperor for all the products along with that he appointed four major officers to control the market activities or to control the trading activities okay and these officers were Divan or Riyasa okay after that, the next one is Sahana
और मंडी दीवान रियासत सहना और मंडी मुहतासिब एंड द लास्ट वन इज बड़ी मुमाली बड़ी द मुमाली फोर मेजर ऑफिसर्स अपॉइंटेड बाय अलाउंड टू कंट्रोल द मार्केट एक्टिविटीज दीवान और रियासत वाज एन ऑफिसर टू रिलेट Uh, related to control the trade means we can say that he was the trade control trade control after that sena or mandi sena or mandi was the market inspector market inspector after that मोहतासिब मोहतासिब वॉज द इंस्पेक्टर ऑफ वेज एंड मेजरमेंट ओके एंड द लास्ट वन इज बरीद मुमालिक बरीद मुमालिक वॉज रिलेटेड विद इंटेलिजेंस डिपार्टमेंट ओके He was related with intelligence department. We can say that he was the chief of intelligence department, restructured by Alauddin Khilji. Guys, if we talk about the market, then at the place of Barid the Malik, it should be Barid a Mandi. Barid a Mandi, an officer related to control the activities of the market. Okay. So in this way, four major officers were there. Appointed by Alauddin Khilji in the matter of market, okay? Means we can say that for controlling the market activities, Diwan Riyasat, trade controller, Sena Amandi, market inspector, Mohtasi, inspector of weight and measurement, and along with that, Bari Amalik, intelligence department. The first who fed his soldiers in cash, Alauddin Khilji built a permanent army. and in this way he was the first for doing anything like that nearby 4 like 75000 soldiers were there in the army of alauddin khilji okay finally alauddin khilji died in 1316 common era ruled for 20 years okay after the death of alauddin khilji his Sanan Sixth Station was Kutubuddin Mubarak Shah Khilji. Okay, his son and Sixth Station was Kutubuddin Mubarak Shah Khilji, or we can say that Kutubuddin Khilji, who knew all the rules or strict rules adopted by Alauddin Khilji, and He adopted the title of Ul Basik Billa. Kutubuddin Mubarak Khilji adopted the title of Ul Basik Billa. Okay, and after the assassination of Kutubuddin Khilji, the last ruler of this dynasty was Nasiruddin Mahmud. Nasiruddin Mahmud. Shah Khilji, okay. So Nasiruddin Mahmud was the last ruler of this dynasty. Nasiruddin, Nasiruddin Mahmud Shah Khilji was the last ruler of this dynasty, which died in thirteen hundred and twenty common era. We can say that he was assassinated in thirteen hundred and twenty common era. So in this way, the Khilji dynasty started from twelve hundred and Ninety common era by Jalaluddin Khalji, and the greatest extension of the empire related with the Khalji dynasty was at the time of Alauddin Khalji. In this way, Alauddin Khalji was not only Alauddin Khalji was not only the best ruler of Khalji dynasty, but also 
the best ruler of all the rulers or all the dynasties related with Delhi Sultanate. Okay. This dynasty ended in 1320, comma, by the assassination of Nasiruddin Mubarak Shah Khilji by Gayasuddin Tughlaq. Okay. So, guys, if we talk about the major questions related with this dynasty, then first of all, very short answer that question like <coughs> who was the founder of Khilji dynasty? When was Khilji dynasty uh, founded? Who was uh, assassinated by Jalaluddin Khalji for the foundation of the Khalji dynasty? Who was the successor of Jalaluddin Khalji? When did Jalaluddin Khalji invade Ranthambhur? Along with that, uh, who was the most important ruler of Khalji dynasty? And what, uh, which was the first military campaign of Alauddin Khalji? Uh, which was the military commander who made it possible for Alauddin Khilji to win the regions or states of South India? Uh, and uh, along with that, uh, which were the different states formed by Alauddin Khilji in Rajasthan? Okay, uh, means the region of Ranthambhor, Chittor, Sivana, and Jalu. Okay, and along with that, you can find a uh, Four mark question also means short answer second type question from this topic uh, like write the major victories of Alauddin Khalji uh, which were the major reforms adopted by Alauddin Khalji to control the administrative revolts in Delhi and uh, which were the major reforms adopted by Alauddin Khalji in the matter of market or you can say that which were the famous market reforms of Alauddin Khalji or why Alauddin Khalji is famous for his market reforms okay so different kind of questions uh, you can find here in this topic so read this chapter this topic truly and keep a deep understanding of this chapter in your mind guys if there will be any doubt in your mind while watching this video you can write me in the comment section I will definitely help you to resolve all your doubts about the remaining topics we will discuss in the next video till then stay at your home be safe